22 year old woman with a clinical complaint of problematic migraine she is typically taking paracetamol for this as well as semitriptan which help but she is finding headache later last week she has history of mild asthma and she takes selvitol infrequently but it is otherwise normal otherwise well which of the following is the most appropriate next step in the management so patient is already taking Uh, semitriptan i think what they are saying paracetamol and semitriptan the first line of uh, my uh, for migraine and she is asthmatic so other line of therapy would be what this is her their question so um, there are um, three medications you can take with the second line or you can add them one is amitriptyline topiramate and propranolol because patient is asthmatic his propranolol is contraindicated and amitriptyline is propranolol also can be but because of child bearing age they are saying like this it's not so um 65 year old male patient coming with sudden reduction in vision in his right eye history of uh, treated hypertension 2 years ago uh, two, oh, two years uh, and two years history of diabetes on metformin so and they give a fundus fundoscope what is the this so central retinal vein hypertension retinopathy vitreous hemorrhage which is so what is this this is Optic disc, artery. What about this? Vein, central retinal vein. Patient has relatively sudden onset of blindness in the periods of fundus plane shape. Optic disc. Classical for central. Classical for central vein occlusion. Fundus vein, flame-shaped hemorrhage. Thirty-five-year-old okay. woman attending clinic with offensive fishy smell, which was general discharge. She is sixteen weeks pregnant. Thus, pregnant and thus far, far the pregnancy has been progressing well. You diagnose bacterial vaginosis. Fishy, fishy smell. Offensive fishy discharge is bacterial vaginosis. The patient is pregnant. Uh, we are uh, here practice is different, but uh, according to NICE guideline, you have to give oral metronidazole. Uh, you have to go through the NICE guideline for obstructive and gynecology. Uh, they are saying first line of treatment is oral metronidazole. So you go check it out. Uh, Eleven year old boy is brought to clinic by mother who is concerned with the complaint of headache, last day and fatigue. On examination, appears unwell. Unwell. Temperature is 38. He is 1960 and of this age and has nuca rigidity, nuca line rigidity, but no photophobia, no rashes. What is the next management? This is also um, this uh, this is also mentioned in the in their guidelines. Ring nine uh, nine and for emergency, I initially marked give I M benzyl penicillin and then asked them to go to this because obviously this is meningitis. But uh, it is mentioned in their guidelines that if the patient is not that toxic and uh, no. No rashes or this. You can, you can, you can, because if you not do LP, you won't have the diagnosis and the medications. So it's better to ring and let him go to the emergency. They're saying in rural setting where. Uh, then I am 
many issues. I even to it. Nice guideline. If you read this with them, you will find it. 16 year old girl uh, attend clinic with her mother. She had a history of anxiety, depression, divorce uh, of her parent one year ago and was uh, she is still down and you feel antidepressant is appropriate, which is the following would be the most appropriate. So floxetine is the first line of treat uh, treatment if the depression fail in young patients. Children and aldosins, uh, ser selective serotonin inhibitors. This is the second line treatment after counseling is failed. See, nice guideline, moderate to severe. Okay. So, these are scenarios, and we have to fit of this. So, a 26 year old male come attending clinic, complaining of certain onset of chest pain while playing football. He is SOB, shortness of breath. He was uh, SOB and stopped playing, and then he still has shortness of breath. He is a smoker and occasion smoke cannabis. is comfortable at rest. There is mild systolic click audible on the left side of the chest. What is the most likely diagnosis? So, patient is a smoker and, and sudden onset with shortness of breath. So, you know, you know, this bulla sometimes ruptures and causes spontaneous pneumothorax and patient usually present like that. Usually have, helps in, comes in uh, healthy, healthy individuals and young and healthy individuals. Uh, here, I don't know why season is here from uh, August, uh, August to September, October, uh, many cases of uh, patient where many cases of spontaneous pneumothorax will come complaining of chest pain and shortness of breath okay a 42 year old man attending clinic uh, being aware of chest pain four weeks ago he was treated for acute coronary syndrome and underwent previous stenting he now complained of central chest discomfort and worsening on inspiration worsening on inspiration and leaning for or leaning forward if you lean forward on this there is just some fever on examination you will agree the heart sounds are normal though not clearly here heard so what is the most likely pericarditis because of pericardial fusion <coughs> post post PCI You are called to see 82 year old resident with mild Alzheimer's. So he is suddenly develop breathlessness and he develop quite suddenly. Okay, so temperature heart rate of 102, blood pressure is okay, Ox uh, respiratory rate is 28. Oxy is what is sudden which causes shortness of breath in elderly patients? Most likely. You apply wells or criteria. So most likely, this is hypoxic. The so most likely pulmonary embolism. Anxiety will not cause pleurisy. Will have some. Will not cause. So you are called on 80 year old. That is, my heart is present with chest pain. He develops chest pain at night. 8 out of 10 and this you feel nauseated. Last night he has severe 8 out of the reading through the bed. So he lasted an hour so we can now the information. Is this blood pressure in the oscillation? I marked this ACS but they are saying this is a dissection of thoracic aorta. Most likely. They are given this. Pericardial drop and <coughs> sudden of here radiating to the back dissection of aorta should be on the tap top differential diagnosis. A 35 year old woman who is 18 week pregnant present to your surgery with her son nursery age of chicken pox. She has whether unsure whether she was uh, infected with chicken pox as a child. 
So before giving anything, we need to check out her varicella antibodies. Check maternal varicella antibodies. A 62 year old Afro Caribbean woman attend clinical complaint of widespread bone ache. She is otherwise uh, normal. She returned with alcohol and BMI. Vitamin D deficiency. So, tenderness over sternum can cause this. I will show you in the description. I marked it wrong initially, but this is the answer. And also tenderness over tibia and sternum is a, a suspicion of vitamin D deficiency. That's how you can check clinically. The body wise there is a levels uh, deficiency, insufficiency and normal. The deficiency less than 25, insufficiency from 25 to 45 I think. I think. Okay. So vitamin is associated with increased amount of osteoids absorbed from water causing bone and very steady stretching. Typically muscle pain applying pressure with thumb over sternum or shaft of tibia. Others like this uh, tenderness over temple is for poly tenderness over the temples, polymyalgia rheumatica. And this one uh, <coughs> subcutaneous nodule, nodules and uh, with gouty arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis at the elbow. Also herbendens node, herbender nodes also in uh, rheumatoid red arthritis. And in Baker's disease you will find ruin over the TB. 77 year old woman attend <clears throat> after suffering a fall. She was uh, walking in the garden. She described tripping and falling more times. Fall several times in past six ma months and also have nature <laughs> causing trip, uh, tripping. She states that notice garden, uh, gardening and housework is staying in longer. She has tremors in her right hand. She was ex smoker. Smoke 10 cigarettes a day. She drinks small glasses of cherry, cherry at night. And she has long standard uh, insomnia. These features are suggested of what? So, what features uh, of her history would be consistent with Parkinson's disease? Age 75. Why? History of smoking will cause tremor for sure, but it all will also cause Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease, chronic insomnia. Why? This worsening of uh, worsening uh, of history of fall is the answer. Parkinson's disease really should be suspected in patient presenting with tremor, stiffness, slowness. Balance problem and gait disturbance. The patient has feature of suggestive of Parkinson's disease with tremors and radicalis. See again, nice guideline. 50 year old man being treated for recent diagnosis of hypertension. Two weeks later, he returned, feeling unwell, being nauseous and fatigued. He, his blood pressure reveals. Blood result is sodium 140, which is normal if you see that range. Potassium is also normal. Urea is also is elevated. Is elevated. And creatinine is elevated three folds. So as we are saying two months ago his urea and electrolytes were recorded normal. So what is the most likely cause of presentation? Drug induced glomerulosclerosis, focal glomerulosis, minimal change, obstructive uropathy, renal artery I marked it red, but the renal artery stenosis, the reason is patient my, might have been prescribed a centimeter, which causes this. Let's see this. 
the man has acute kidney injury with a history of hypertension is likely treated with angiotensin ACE inhibitors which then resulted in ischemic probably renal artery stenosis okay so that's it